Hey guys, I'm JD Ross and I'm going to teach you how to download Lua and Manifest Files. Now I know I just said that I'm going to teach you how to download, but I'm not going to teach you how to download the tool, right? Because for the sake of this video, I can't hold your hand on it. And then in the website, uh, find this, you should see it right away, Steam Clouds Ultimate, and then click download. There's going to be lots of ads. You're probably going to need an ad blocker or just close the ads. On your first download, you will see this file. Inside it, there would be a link or a text file with a link on it. Inside it is a link vertice link, and uh, there's going to be more ads inside it. I can't give you the link vertice link because it's probably going to be invalid in the future anyway. After you get the file, you should get a file that's about this size, right? So it, there's going to be a version in the file name, the Steam Clouds Ultimate version, whatever. So extract that file, right? You need this file. It's an exe file. Save it somewhere. I'm going. I'm going to save mine on SSD games. Oh, apparently I already have it. Here's the file. We're going to open this using Port Proton. Go to the Discover Store and search for Port Proton. So install this. I've already tackled this on the previous video, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. After you install Port Proton, right-click on Steam Clouds Ultimate. Open with Port Proton, change shortcut or create shortcut in your case, and then add shortcut to desktop, and then change shortcut. That should add a shortcut on the desktop, right? And then launch the app. Now, it might take a while to launch, and you might see this fail to connect to the internet, but most likely it's still connected to the internet. So this is the app, and I just removed my GitHub token so I can show you how to add it. According to the developer, the GitHub token is supposed to let you download a limited amount of Lua files because the Lua files comes from GitHub itself. So to do that, go to GitHub and log in your account and then go to github.com slash settings slash tokens under personal access tokens, go to classic and then create a new token. Name it something else. I'm going to name it Steam Clouds Ultimate. Here you can change the duration of the expiration. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to set it to 30 days, but you can have it set to no expiration. It's really up to you. I'm going to generate the token. Copy it. And then put it on Steam Clouds. Save it. Now. We're going to test it on a game. Let's say Platypus we played. Search. It will check if they have the files. If it's an X, there's no files. So let's try another game. Uh, Silk Song. Okay, they have the files. If you just want to download the Lua files, make sure that this is unchecked. And then click Start Download. Right. So when you go to Steam Labs Ultimate folder, you will find this. If you watched my previous video, you know what to do with this. But if you want to add it straight to Steam, you click Add to Library and click Start Download. Now that should be inside Steam Port Proton. We're going to close this, run a Steam Port Proton, and see if it's uh, there. Here it is. You can install it, play it if you want to. So that's it for this video, really. For the next video, I'm going to teach you something, a new tool that would let you use this Steam Clouds Ultimate with SLS Steam, which I also showed in the previous video. So if you want to see that, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications bell icon so you will be notified when I upload it. And thank you for watching and see you on the next video.